Africans in the 13 colonies. You'll now take notes on how slaves lived once they reached the plantations. What do you think the lives of slaves were like after they arrived to America? The work. Slaves were given tasks according to their physical capability. Work hours were 15 to 18 hours per week, seven days a week. Women even had to work in the fields if they were pregnant. Hard driving consists of working slaves beyond their physical ability, and sometimes children had to work starting at the age of six. Food and diet. The food was generous in bulk, but imbalanced and monotonous. Monotonous mean they got the same things over and over. The slaves usually prepared their own food and carried it out to the fields. Lack of variety in nutrition caused slaves to suffer from nutrition-related diseases. Typical food allowance was a peck of cornmeal, three to four pounds of salt pork or bacon per week per person, and sometimes this was supplemented by vegetables from their gardens, by fish or wild game, and molasses. And supplemented basically means added to it, to their food and diet. Slaves were not well clothed. They had inadequate clothing for people engaged in heavy labor all year. Ch children would usually wear dress shirts, long dress shirts. Male slaves were provided with two shirts, woolen pants, and a jacket in the winter, along with two shirts and two cotton pants in the summer. Women were provided with an insufficient amount of cloth and made their own clothes. The cloth was cheap material produced in England and was often referred to as Negro cloth. Slave homes. The homes were small, built of logs. The floors were packed with dirt, so they basically had um, dirt floors. They were leaky and drafty, and because of the combination of wet, dirt, and coal, it made them uh, disease environments and not really safe for slaves or anyone to live in. Their education. The education of the slave children was generally informal and sometimes almost non-existent. Slaves were not able to learn how to read. It was against the law for them to learn how to read or write. As a rule, masters preferred to keep their slaves as unknowing as possible. Married life. Legally, slaves were not permitted to marry. Many chose mates whom they intended to keep for life and they were married informally and wedding ceremonies. These were these are your notes on slaves after they reached the plantation.